Hello everyone, it is Jocelyn Louise here and welcome to day one of Breathe. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So let's get started for today. Our first activity is a really beautiful one. So it's just a five senses activity. Uh, you can do it as a sensory walk, which is a really beautiful way of doing it. You can walk around your yard or your garden. You can also just sit. We've had times where my daughter, my daughter's uh, six years old and she's on the autism spectrum. So she has Meltdowns. We were walking down towards the supermarket one day and we were in the middle of the path. There were no one around, luckily. <laughs> and she just was struggling big time. So we just sat down in the middle of the path and we did this together and it was great. We didn't move. We just sort of looked at what was around us and then we ended up going into some nature play after that. It helped her calm down instantly and it was brilliant. So it's one of my favorite, really simple, easy little tools that we can pull out anytime. And it's great for adults to do too. It's just a really easy way of tuning into yourself and your surroundings and it's beautiful. So just tuning into our five senses. Now you can choose what order you want to do them in. It doesn't matter. Um, I tend to go for the, the top three I shift around all the time. So um, anything that you can see can be a really easy one. We can pick lots of things that we can see. Normally I go up to five things that you can see, um, four things that you can feel, touch. So touch or feel, it's up to you. Um, I like the idea of touching because it's more tangible for kids. You can touch that or you can also talk about what you can feel or what you, what it feels like or you can also think about yourself. Um, so after I've been doing this one for a little while, I also started to think about, oh, I feel really calm and relaxed or I feel really tense and you can think about it in that way as well. It's a really good way of checking in on yourself too. And so it's up to you how you go with that with your kids, whatever they come out with, with what they can feel, <laughs> whether it's I can feel the rough bark on the tree and they can get those really good descriptive words in there too. You can also write poems with your five senses. It's beautiful. Um, you know, I can feel the smooth, thick leaves. Or you can just feel the leaves. I can feel the grass. I can feel my legs. <laughs> my kids go, I can feel you. <laughs> it's gorgeous. So, um, any number of things, or you don't have to put a number to it at all. So with older kids, with um, adults, you can just leave off the numbers. You can just tune in and think something, one thing that I can see, one thing that I can feel, one thing that I can hear. Hear is sometimes really easy, sometimes it's harder. It's harder. Last time I did this with my daughter, it was harder for her to tune in and she could get two things really easily and then she's like, I don't know. <laughs> so we slowed down closed her eyes and we really listened in and she could hear the birds and the crickets and the cicadas and all these things that she couldn't hear on that surface level when she was first doing it. So once we slowed down and we took a breath, she could hear a lot more, which is what this is really great for, where you're tuning into your surroundings and it's bringing you back into the present moment and back to that state of calm, which is beautiful. It's also turning off your fight or flight, fight, flight, freeze. <laughs> um, Thing <laughs> and bringing you back, calming your nervous system down and bringing you back into the parasympathetic <laughs> nervous system. Um, so bringing you back into that calm state. I don't want to use all the big words. <laughs> so um, up to you whether you go numbers or not. So things you can see, touch and hear are nice and easy, any order, and then something you can smell if you want. Um, sometimes that can be harder or you can just imagine what something might smell like or you can find some flowers that you could go and smell or you could just sit there and think, oh, I can smell someone's lunch cooking. I can smell, I don't know, the fresh breeze. I've been walking somewhere before down near a beach and it smelled like lemonade icy pulse. <laughs> or another place that's not like oranges. <laughs> so it's just tuning in or it's just what something might remind you of or anything. No no stress, don't to be too fussy about it, just whatever and come up with what can you imagine too, you know? And so taste can be the tricky one. <laughs> like if you're out in the garden and there's nothing you can kind of taste, then that's an interesting one. <laughs> so um, maybe if you've got a herb garden, then perfect, go on over there and see if there's something you can taste or if there's nothing, then imagine what you could taste or you could be having an ice cream or you could be having something that tastes good anything you can also you don't have to go through all five senses you could just pick one and tune into what you can feel five things you can feel anything three things you can hear 
whatever. Or you can do it in that order and go your five, four, three, two, one. If you want to build in some more active <laughs> energy burning stuff into this, you can absolutely do that as well. So with the little ones, you can, okay, run and touch five things. That's nice and easy. Or you can even think about what they feel like when you touch them. So that's that rough bark on the tree or the um, soft, smooth leaves the wet grass in the morning, <laughs> anything. Um, and yeah, have built in that active stuff. So you can, with the touch ones, super easy. You can run and touch things. You could skip over and smell some flowers. You can, oh, I can hear some birds. Can you fly like a bird? You know, um, anything like that. Add in some active stuff to it if you want to. Otherwise, it's also beautiful to just sit there in one spot and tune in. You can even just reach whatever you can reach there. I can touch the sticks. I can touch the path. I can feel my legs. I can feel some grass. Super simple, super easy. It's one that you can even do while you're sitting in a waiting room, you know, or sitting at the doctor's surgery or the dentist or wherever. And just, this is a nice, easy one that you can do. Just tune in. What can you hear there? You might be able to hear the TV playing. You might be able to hear people talking. You might be able to hear the receptionist typing or talking on the phone or anything like that. What can you see around you? So nice, simple, easy one today. Tomorrow is another really easy one that I love. And then we've got some more involved ones with our deeper breathing stuff and our other things. And I'm going to save our family yoga session till the last day. So day seven. So if you're liking this, please share it around. Please invite anyone you wish to into the group. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And please feel free to share your experiences with the activities as we go, whenever, anything at all, just to let us know how you went, how you found it you've done it before which bits you liked the best anything love it enjoy thank you so much everyone and i look forward to seeing you again tomorrow